Good evening, folks. Today I'm doing a review for the Cricut Block from Zoom Ed. I got this thing from PetSmart a few days ago. And oh, I'm just going to say it's utter shit. It's a bloody mess. Here are the claims. Increases the calcium content of Cricut fed to reptiles. Probably true. Calcium base with food aside to increase nutritional value of crickets. Probably true too because I saw the ingredients. Ingredients look spot on. But here, easy to use. Just place inside cricket cage. I mean with cage with crickets. That's the only problem. Well, I did that. Put inside a cage of crickets. You know how some pet store owners and places say that crickets will eat anything? Well, they eat everything except for this. I don't really know what this, well, I kind of know what it's made out of, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know. I just know the crickets will not even touch it. They go over to it, and they run away from it. They don't even want to be anywhere near it, let alone eat it. I had to break it up because it was just kind of like sitting there as a lump. I was thinking, maybe it's too hard for them. Let me break it up into two pieces. Nope. Crickets won't eat it. Not at all. It's just an utter mess inside their cage. I keep crickets because, well, I find it easier to have crickets on hand instead of keep going to the store to buy them for my leopard geckos, my chubby frogs, and everything else. Well, like I said, I try to find new food. This does not work. This cricket food here, this cricket block, does not work. Made in USA. That's interesting. This gut load block does not work. And for those of you thinking, well, maybe he did it wrong. No. The directions are clear as day. Just put it in there for additional stuff, two days, blah, 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 blah. Look at all of these chemicals inside this thing. All the ingredients. Mm. And for those of you who are thinking, well, maybe you didn't do anything right. Well, I wetted a little bit of this inside of another little container. To see what happened. Holy crap, it makes a horrifying mess after about an hour and then it just smells so bad. I had to throw it out. So that's why I had like a test sample. See look, there's a cricket walking away from him. He's eating the other cricket. Well you can't see it right there, but he was literally eating another dead cricket that I need to take out as soon as I finish doing this. So, if you're looking for a gut load mix to give to your crickets to keep them alive until your next feeding, I don't usually do product placement or tell people what to do or any of that crap, but let me show you something you should give your crickets instead of this mess here. That's right. Flukers. Fluckers. Fluck. Yeah, flukers. This is the high calcium cricket diet. I give the crickets this, they actually eat this stuff. And the leopard geckos feel better. Well, I'm assuming the leopard geckos feel better because Lord, they are huge ones. I've been feeding them this for a week and they've been getting a lot more energy and stuff. But anyway guys, that's my mini review for the Zoo Mad Cricket Block. I mean, Zoo Man usually makes pretty good spot-on stuff. It's just that one rare occurrence. Zoo Man dropped the ball on this one. So do not, I repeat, do not get the cricket block. Might work for hissing cockroaches or something like that, but it does not work for crickets. Not at all. Piece of crap. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hey, let me show you. Before I end this video. Grab a little piece. I just dropped it all over four, didn't I? Hmm. It's like this blue powdery stuff. And a bloody camera. There we go. It's like a blue powdery stuff. Look at this. Sorry about the camera, people. There we go. It's like a... You think? Yeah. No, that's all it does. Make a mess.
Good job, Zoo Man. You failed with this one. 